From one of the studios that brought you Norm of the North, brings you their latest blockbuster hit, and by that I mean a movie that really hit the bottom of the barrel, it's Arctic Dogs. Well, prepare to be disappointed by a really short review. I mean, come on people, just look at this. With a concept this tired and cliched, what can I possibly say that hasn't already been said about this movie? Well, I can at least try to give a decent review for those who haven't heard of this movie, but big shock, you're not in for a surprise. Considering the studio that helped work on it, this could be either better or worse. The story centers on a white fox named Swifty, who's tired of his mundane life and dreams of becoming a sleigh dog, seen it. He hopes to one day help the sleigh dogs deliver important packages to their local town or something, I don't care. But oh no, Swifty is a tiny fox so he can't be a sleigh dog and keeps getting turned down despite his big dreams, seen it. But on the other side there's this evil walrus who wants to destroy the arctic all because he gets fired from his job. Wait. Really? That's his motivation to hating all of the world? Also seen it! Okay, so it's no surprise to anybody that the story itself feels like it's ripping off at least three or four other animated movies. But that's quite frankly the least of its problems. It isn't just a predictable story that ruins it, but also an unlikable douchebag that we're for some reason supposed to root for. He's too arrogant, egotistical, stupid, and this pushes it all the way through. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for as generic as he was turned into, to, Ratchet from the Ratchet and Clank movie was more tolerable than Swifty. At least he doesn't put his pride before others. I swear Swifty was originally going to be the antagonist. But let's go back to that walrus guy. His story brings the plot even lower below the ice itself. I mentioned earlier that his motivation makes literally no sense, but the actual plan itself? He wants to meld the ice because he wants to do more deliveries himself? Apparently being fired is a justifiable reason to destroy an entire plank of ice and have by animals. And you may be asking yourself, how in the hell did a movie like this have a budget of 50 million? It's quite obviously the casting choice. Like, come on, did anyone expect to have a movie called Arctic Dogs starring famous celebrities like Alec Baldwin and James Franco? No? Well, you got it anyway. It's made more clear where the budget went to when you look at the animation. It's not horrible, but it suffers some of the same problems as Normal the North, mainly the lack of physics. Though in all honesty, the animation as a whole isn't as bad as that that movie, not by a long shot. And unsurprisingly, it suffers a lot more beats than you could have seen before, like poop jokes for instance. Yep, even the comedy that made Norm of the North still has to keep that tradition going. The characters are barely worth mentioning since they're either bland or in Swifty's case totally unlikable, and the voice acting is admittedly pretty lackluster, almost sounding like nobody cares that they were involved in this, and to their credit, I don't blame them. I'm having a really difficult time trying to think of what else to say about Arctic Dogs that has hasn't already been said. Well, I'll say this much, it's by no means an abysmal train wreck. I still had a fairly hard time watching it, but it's nowhere near as insufferable as Norm of the North, though it's not saying much when I think that movie's sequel is better than this. Arctic Dogs isn't offensive or insulting, it's just painfully boring and has nothing unique to make it seem fresh. Spoiler alert, it's not the worst animated movie of the year, there's another one I'll be getting to that I hate even more, but for a theatrical animated film, yeah, it was a pretty big impact. Embarrassment. And sometimes when a movie makes like 10% of its original budget backed, the box office doesn't always lie about quality. 